It's been a fairly unexciting session so far on the floor of the London Met Exchange, the base metals prices. And after four days of volatility, up and down price movements, that's not a complete surprise. All the makers are trading at slightly steadier levels, as they have done throughout most of this session. That's building on the performance yesterday, which we saw coming up towards the close. And that's, again, a reflection of the markets We're looking for a little bit of short-term stability, a little bit of consolidation after the big sell-offs that we've seen, prices falling to multi-year lows in many cases. So looking at the business today so far, we've seen the copper market. It's mostly been in the mid $6,700 per tonne. It did briefly get above $6,800 just before midday, and only in Asia was below $6,700. But the market's trading about 30 to 40 dollars higher on the day as it been as it has been for most of the session. A similar picture in the other metals, it has to be said. Aluminium is quite steadier. Briefly got to a four-year long yesterday at 1758 dollars a ton. It's now trading in the mid 1770s. Nickel, although it's struggling to get back above 14,000, it is at least holding up its four years. Today has been a day of consolidation, sideways trading, a little bit of hesitation perhaps. In the background, the macroeconomic fundamentals have perhaps calmed down a little bit, and that's helped inject some stability into base metals. Probably got about an hour or two's trading left on the day, and coming up to the end of the week, the month, the quarter, and indeed the first half of 2013, there is the potential for some volatility. But we've had some data today out of the US, mixed data on the Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment, and that hasn't really injected too much activity or movement into the markets. And it may be that is the trend that prevailed right through to the close. This is Martin Hayes for Fast Markets on the floor of the LMF.